My name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of Supreme Ambient Light Rejection Screen Paint using Ambient Light Rejection Technology Gain. Uh, as you can see, some things have changed in my area right now. Actually, we're doing some work here in my uh, in my office uh, slash that's my office slash um, home theater tea room. Uh, ordered some pretty good stuff off Amazon. Uh, for doing this setup, Wait a minute. come over here and put in a slideshow. Let's see. So yeah, the whole room was changed around. Came and did this the same day yesterday. I just knocked it all out because I'm just one of those people that I got to get it done. I got so many projects on my plate right now. Right now I'm actually downstairs constructing the stand for one of the uh, ultra short though projection screens. So I can build me a tabletop projection screen, but the projection comes from under the table. So right now, I'm in there getting ready to hang the screen. Um, I ordered some crazy stuff from Amazon coming in. I bought this teapot. This thing looks it looks like it's kind of steampunk, and it's it doesn't we plug it in. It's cool as I don't know what. So I'll turn this into like a nice little um, kind of like a um, if you want to call it a. Um, Kind of like a Japanese uh, tea room at home theater slash office, and it's going to have a nice little comfortable bed that one actually put over in the corner, which is a really nice. Order some real nice stuff for that. Um, I tell you one thing: trying to get stuff that basically from Japan, and I mean even down to the little stuff is like crazy expensive. Um, but keep in mind, the theater room for six hundred is only supposed to include my projector, speakers, screen. Um, everything I needed to start ultra short though, all the other stuff is just going in for odds and ends to add some kind of display to it. As when I first started off, all I wanted to do was just do this wall only, and I was going to leave my office the rest of the way just for a display. But I thought to myself, you know, I might just change the entire room. So that's what I did. I changed the entire room. Now the red looks a little interesting because actually it is a paint called Showstopper, but I didn't like it because it was too red, so I dropped black into it to give it a more darker, more richer look to it. A cool trick when you do this is don't mix it thoroughly. If you don't mix it thoroughly, there's streaks of black in it. What happens is some areas of it darker and some of it redder, you get a nice cool effect. Now I'm not worried about the light switches and all that. All those are being replaced. I got some, um, some bronze, some brown bronze light switches and outlets. I'm changing all those over in here. So I'll show you exactly what's really going on in here. This is just another setup. I told you when I design my rooms, I like to give them a whole different kind of identity. So let me show you what we're doing in here. All right, so the screen's got to hang up. Right now, waiting for lead lights to come in because I got a lead light the screen. Ultra short throw is going to be there. Uh, I'm going to be setting up my speakers here and there. Um, the bonsai tree, I like it, but it's too small. I need a bigger one, so I did order a bigger one than that one that's coming in. Um, over here, I got a nice little bed. The bed's small, it's like a Japanese style bed. Over here, it's got, man, it's beautiful. I got this white, stone white comforter to go with it. Then I got this blood red um, uh, Japanese um, 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 like dress sheets to go over top of them with the pillows and the symbols on it. Really, really sick. I love that right there. The curtains are gonna be changed out. I'm gonna put some nice, probably like some stone whites with some um, corn flowers from Japan. Uh, cherry blossoms, cherry blossoms with the trees outstanding on the, on the, um, on the curtains right there. Um, over here, I'm going to put my select teas right here. I ordered a tea box, a Japanese tea box. I got to show you this, um, this, this tea kettle I got. The tea kettle is sick. It cost me like 60 bucks, but it was definitely worth it. I was like, I don't really want to buy this. But yeah, I definitely had to buy that tea kettle. That tea kettle was sick. So I bought that. Um, I'm going to put my sugars and cups and stuff over here. I'm going to get a bamboo kind of shutter that's going to go across here. It's going to cover that all up. Keep that nice and covered up. Wire management definitely has to be done in here. Over here, we got the screen set up. The reason why it's small because I got the projector pushed up because I had to do work behind here. I bought a stand for the projector, real elegant, nice, fancy stand. Well, not stand, but shelf, which I can mount the projector anywhere I want because these projectors have lens shift, so it doesn't really make a difference where I mount it. But I'm going to put it right over here. The Japanese bed is going to go over here, section right here, here, and here. So I lose my chance, I can sit here if I want and work on my computer, which I have my desk. You see how short I got my desk, I actually bought it down. I can work on my uh, desk here, from here if I want to. Also got a nice little cushion that I bought that I can slide up, sit down, and work on my um, work here, printer, computer, all that stuff is at the bottom. Or I can lean up against the wall because I'm going to have pillows all across here and here. 
which will allow me to be able to watch my theater screen here. Oops, bumping into stuff. My theater screen here, which I'm gonna have set up here. Put my speakers there and there, and I got a Japanese fountain that I ordered. Oh, I'm telling you, this place when I get sick. And I did order the lanterns. I actually ordered the lanterns. I got big, huge lanterns, are about that freaking big. They're huge. The one's gonna go in each corner, so it's gonna look pretty, pretty cool in here. I got artwork, everything. That's just a starter right now. I still got a lot more stuff to add in here, like little statues and stuff like that. I want to litter out through the entire place, to give it a more aesthetic look to it. So yeah, it's uh, it's working out quite well. Came out quite well. I was gonna basically wait and do some of this here and there, but I said, you know what, forget it. I'm just gonna move all the projectors downstairs, knock all this out. I'm just now getting up after like two hours of sleep. On here is my DVR from Dish Network from back in the day. If you remember having one of these, these particular ones are different from the ones they have now. This one has a microchip in it. Keep in mind, when a service was about to be cut off, I downloaded a ton of Japanese anime movies that are actually sitting on this hard drive right here. Now, mind you, the hard drives back then weren't that big, like 120 gigs, but at that time, you just downloaded nothing but freaking movies. So there's like Fooly Cooly on there, Big O, all the old movies from old, old um, Japanese animes from back in the day, all on there. I'm going to load that up so I can play, watch my anime on here. So like I said, get everything set up. Once I get enough furniture in here or something in here, it'll get rid of the echo effect. Now, like I said, chair, all this is going to be dismantled, all this is going to be gone. Everything's going to be that low uh, key uh, Japanese kind of style in here. Where basically, that's why my, my, my chair is not here anymore. No it's downstairs uh, near the scanner. Yeah. And on top of that top paper, like I said, you can do all this stuff on the low. It doesn't cost a lot of money to do this, it's very easy to do. Um, you just have to know what to look for. All me think everything I bought was on Amazon. And keep in mind, I'll, I'll give you a tally up on how much everything cost me, including to do the um, the job on the place and all that. But the paint, when you want to give yourself like a deeper, richer paint, you add a little black into it. If you want to get that kind of fade over to black and red, don't mix it, don't mix it strongly through. What I like to do is, and it's kind of a cool trick, is I get a piece of PVC tube about, I don't know, if I'll say like, about that big and I stir it up with the tube, right? And then what I do is, it's gonna sound kind of dirty when I say this, but it actually works. You blow on the tube and what it causes, it causes air bubbles to pop in the paint and it causes some of the black to push through because it causes the mix half and half. So kind of like, so stirring it a little bit and, and what it does, it causes the paint to bubble up and that causes the black to push up in different directions, but not quite stare correctly, thoroughly. So that's why the walls look a little black and then they go into a little red. Little tricks you learn. I told you to be a painter way back in the day. Like way back in the day, it's a paint. 53 now. I'm finishing off this room today. This is it. I'm, I'm, I'm been lacking on this room. This room is supposed to be gridded out. I'm still finishing the floor. So I have the rest of the floor to finish. I got the ceiling to do. And I got the windows to do. And this place is done. As for the wires, now I'm going to basically leave the wires exposed. And I'll tell you why. Because I need for this area to look like a giant circuit. So... To actually make that effect look more efficient, this I went and got. This is the other room I converted into an arcade room. I went and um, got some UV paints. Like this. It's going to be a messy job. This stuff washes off your hands pretty quick. Eh, come on, get out of there. Anyway, they're UV paints, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my hand, and I'm going to run them lightly, all, all the cables in the back room, to give it a kind of a glow effect. Of course, I'm going to use, I don't know if I'm use blue. I should use yellow or blue back there. But all the cables are going to glow. So we need some wire management, but all the cables are going to glow. I want to look like a giant circuit board back there. Here, some of the cables are going to glow, but I'm going to have to tighten up some of these wires back here and get this room finished off. This room's almost done. I just have to run lead lights through the floor. Um, these are all done through here. Back there, those are all finished up. I didn't know those were flashing like that. Okay, cool, whatever. Um, what else has to be done from the back of this right here? I think I have to cut my probably about two more packs of lead lights in here and I'm done. And then in here I got to put the curtain across here, the red curtain for the arcade here. Got to finish that off today, I should order that today. And then I'm going to put a black light up in here, run the cable through here and hide it back there. So that way when I do my arcade sign, I'm doing my arcade sign all in, um, in uh, colors. And I'm not a great artist to tell you the truth, I'm just printing it out piece by piece and just actually attaching it to a frame. And then after that, I'm gonna actually paint it with those colors 
And what that black light is going to generate that uh, this glow, let that glow real nice right there. Put a little snack sign right here. And then go to Amazon Pantry and drop $200 worth of snacks because I need to fill this up. My cupboard is bare. All this needs to be filled with nothing but junk food. Now to make sure my little, I got little friends in the house, like, you know, little mice that can climb. I'm going to get these containers, organizers, and just organize my food. They can't get in there. I thought about killing them, but I just can't see myself killing them all, so I just can't do it. Now, that's just me. I'm sorry. I squeal. Mayan, this is the person who gets up early in the morning, feeds squirrels all day, and birds and everything else in this backyard. So, really don't see myself killing a mouse. We can't do it. But, yeah, this room is almost about done. Just a little bit more work, and this thing will be lit up. It'll be good to go. Look at that. Do, 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 do. Like the circuits in there. Every time I walk in this room, that room always stays with the lights out. I may get some blackout curtains for, I don't really play in the, in the daytime, so no, I'm really, I'm really that long. I don't really play in the daytime. I want to remove the door to tell you the truth. I just want to take the whole door off because that doesn't look like an arcade room with a door swinging back and forth. I may just take my whole door off. Yeah, it's got new screws in it from here to there. I think I'm just going to take remove the whole door and just put LED lights right up here and here and here. Yeah, I'm doing I'm taking the door off. I'm going to take the door off completely, put this upstairs, and then, um, mind you, uh, keep in mind for those of you saying, but you rent there. I'm actually buying this house, literally. I'm actually in the process of buying it from the um, from the owners. I know the owners. I'm very good friends with them. Actually, I've been here for a while, so I'm good friends with them, and we have a good relationship, and they actually made an offer for me to buy their house, and I said yes, so I'm actually buying the house now. Um... I'm buying this one, and there's another house I'm going to buy up in, up in Westchester, a much bigger, bigger property, because I've pretty much outgrown this one already. So um, when I leave here, I'm going to have a contractor come through here and just take all my stuff out. Like, all my stuff is going to move out. All this stuff right here I'm doing right now, contractor is going to change the entire house over, and I'm actually going to give it to a friend of mine for her and her kids. Actually, my god kids are going to get this house. So, yeah, for those, those out there who are saying, oh, he rents. Oh, yeah. Um, I know the owners. The owners are actually going to sell me the house. It's actually for a very good price. This house is fifteen. I think it's fifteen hundred something square feet. It's freaking. It's, it's, it's a good sized house. I mean, for me, just to be in here by myself, I got a big attic upstairs, a giant basement downstairs. I got a huge backyard deck. I got a huge driveway. I can put four cars in it. I got a front yard that I never use. Has bush privacy bushes on the front, and whoever. Planet whatever in the backyard, I get roses like galore. Like there are roses throughout the entire backyard, white roses and red roses and whatever. All those are got to be ripped up because uh, my little ones, when they come through, they don't touch stuff. I don't know what them getting hurt. Yeah, I was surprised. This is the second time I got offered a house. The last house I was living, they offered to sell it to me. But anyway, um, I'm just going to redo this place and give it to her. But for right now, this is my practice house. So when I get my other house, I can go in and go buck wild and do some crazy stuff in there, which I can do on a level with steroids. I told you the biggest screen I'm going to put in that house is going to be a 300 inch. And I'm using the actual two Dell Ultra Short Throws. My friend's going to use uh, um, what they call warp software to actually mend both screens together off two Ultra Short Throws on a 300 inch screen. But right now, this is a practice house. Sorry about that. Kind of snorted a little bit early in the morning. All right. Let's go in here real quick. The bathroom. I'm trying to figure out what to do with the bathroom. I want to do something crazy with the bathroom. Like, I don't want neon lights through there at all, period. I just want to do something different with the bathroom. It's a small little cute bathroom. I like this bathroom. You know, it's not it's not gigantic. I mean, the house I'm about I'm gonna be purchasing. My bathroom is literally the size of my master bedroom, but anyway, like I said, it's a nice little cute bathroom. It's unique and everything. It's got a little, I never showed you the bathroom before. It's got a nice little light in the shower over top, which I thought was pretty cool. It's my, my whatchamacallit in here. Would I put a projection screen? Where? Where would I put one? It's, don't, don't, I don't think the thought hasn't crossed my mind. I might do the bathroom kind of a Japanese style. I think I am. I ain't feeling the tile though. I swear, if this wasn't COVID, I would bring one of my contractors in here to rip up that floor and put the new floor and put a hard wooden floor in there. Well, yeah, he'll deal with it. I would do the whole bathroom if I, like I said, because of COVID, I can't have my people come in. It's always good to have a couple good contractors under your belt that you're good friends with, you know, in case you need something to work on. And, you know, that way, you, you know, you're getting an honest deal. 
you're not getting somebody's gonna take you through a loop. Sorry about my trash can, but yeah, if I have my contractor come out, rip this whole bathroom out, redo the whole bathroom. It's nice and all, but I want something different. But anyway, I can work with it. I can make it work. I'll figure out a way what I'm gonna convert it into. Now these see these lights right here. I love these freaking lights. These lights I got off Amazon for around twenty-seven dollars. The difference between these LED lights and the LED lights you get throughout the house, which I see right now, these LED lights I use them for hotel use, like for hotel lobbies and stuff like that, the heightened area. These suckers are bright. I haven't used my overhead lights since I had these installed since I put these in. And I mean two months. This is my overhead lights right here. That's my overhead lights right there. And these are these lights right here. I like these much better. On top of that, I get a remote control with multiple settings. Now, if I want, I can extend these lights all the way from here, 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 and here. But I want to keep this area kind of shadowy because my staircase glows up. So I don't want too much light in this area. But this strip right here is perfect. Now, as for that line running through there, that's going to be hidden. I already ordered the tube that actually I can paint the blend into to the, um, to the walls. So I can hide that along there. All that's going to be hidden. You won't be able to see any of that. But I like that. And I can run my lights 24-7. I can run them all day, all night. Because that right there, these lights use less power than my overhead lights. Less power by a lot. I checked my electric bill. I actually saved a little because of these lights right here. As a matter of fact, I saved a lot because I barely use any of the lights in my house at night. Everything in the house is lead lit. So I actually save a lot of my electricity. So I'm going to run these through here. Leave these like this. And I may run these in the bathroom. Because... That is literally brighter than this. Look at the difference. And I would have to just run a trace around here, here, here. I got an outlet right there. I'll hide it in a nice box, connect it from here to here, trace it back up there, blend it all in, and run it all the way around. And I can run it right in here, brighten this place up a little bit. I figure I'm gonna do is, hey, that's me in the morning. Yeah, I don't like crap in the morning. I love absolute crap, and I don't care because I ain't no beauty contest. I'm not here basically to be in a fashion show. I'm here to work. That's what I do. Get up in the morning and do different stuff with my, top, with my technology. I incorporate my technology into different environments. This is what I'm doing. So anytime you see me in a gaming room, I'm using my, my technology, my Japanese tea house slash office and, and bedroom. Well, it's like, I could say it's a little sleeper room. Um, I'm not going to use it for sleeping because I like to sleep on the sofa. I mean, like I had somebody make a comment about me sleeping on the sofa. I'm like, dude, look at the size of my freaking house. I mean, it ain't gigantic, but if I want a master bedroom, I can have a master bedroom. I got arcade rooms throughout the entire house. Like, I got a master bedroom. Look at the size of my master bedroom. And if I wanted to, I could have easily converted this to the size of my freaking master bedroom. And huge. So if I wanted to, I can convert this into a bedroom. Just had no need for a bedroom. I like sleeping on the sofa. Honest to God, I do. But if I want a bed, I can get a bed. Good God, what's a bed? Like what? Two, three grand? Come on now. Please. I thought this would be nice to turn into a giant arcade room. And that's what I did with it. I like sleeping on the sofa, and that's where I want to be at. Now, this room in here, I'm spending about, for my, Jap my little Japanese bed, I spent $1,500 on my Japanese bed last night. I'm not sleeping in here. That bit is just for me to just sit up in bed and just work on my computer and watch a little Japanese anime and some TV. That's all it's for. You know what I'm be sleeping at? Right down on the sofa. When I get the new house, you see how the size of that house I'm about to go purchase? You're going to see me sleeping on the sofa. I'm going to get a, one of those great big, huge, giant sectional sofas. Whole bunch of big comforts and stuff. Yeah, I'm sleeping on the sofa. I'm not using those bedrooms. I'm going to turn. I'm gonna convert those bedrooms into something else. I'm going to convert, actually, I'm converting one of the bedrooms in the house into a, um, a, a bedroom for my god kids. So when they come over, they got their own rooms to sleep in. One, I'm going to turn into an arcade or gaming room. Of course, that's going to happen. One, I'm going to turn into a tech room. Another, I'm going to turn into a library. You know what I mean? Slash, you know, tea room. I like to drink my teas and stuff like that. But no, I, I don't like sleeping in the bedroom. I don't. I just don't. I never have. I never did. I never just had didn't feel connected to a bedroom. Yeah, this is where I sleep. I like it down here. I got my glow dart lights and everything. Got a 120 inch screen to look at. Got the ceiling that lights up at night. Nah, I'm good. I don't need to be in there. So this is what I'm building right now. That's what I'm putting together. 
that is a freaking cool stand. I was reading through the um the um the instructions on this. This stand right here will allow me to take that. I've ordered that's what ordered three of the ultra short throws. It'll allow me to take an ultra short throw, mount it on here, and I can actually it's a tabletop stand. So I can set this on a table and I can actually project it, project images, watch TV, the whole nine yards without all that key. So I was wondering why that projector had all those freaking options in there because the, the option for that projector allows it to be able to be used for tabletop projections. That's why, excuse me, they wanted so much for that projector. When I first saw them on the market, they wanted a couple thousand dollars for them. And now I see why. This is a special standard design for them. That projector has two different functions. So it's a table function. It says it right there in the manual. Like, what the freak is a table function? Then as I'm reading through it, I realize that this projector has a capability of projecting right onto a table, but not under a table, other table. I saw when they had a glass table, and they had it under the glass table. That's what these are for. So you can mount this with a projector under the table, and you can project an image right through the right through the table. And we developed black glass technology. So, yeah, it's gonna, definitely going to happen. I might do that one instead. So that's what I'm doing right now, putting this thing together. Look at this. This is freaking cool as I don't know what. I paid $100 for this one. This one you got to pay for. You got to pay for these separately. And that shows you how to calibrate it so it actually lands on the table. Yeah, you know what, I, you know what I'm going to do with this. You know what I'm going to do with this. Come on, I got that scanning machine too. So, all right. Look here. It's very easy to put together. They make it look complicated, but it's not that hard to put these things together. I'll show you something right here. I'm going to display it. Man, it's just still covered in red paint. And look at this, man. This tabletop projection. You can't do that with any other projection because the projectors I have here, they have stands on them, but they can't do this. They have a problem. When they hit, the, when they actually, when you, when the projectors I have, the ones that use the Epsons, when I stand them upright like this and I shine them down, the keystone goes nuts. Like it's hard to get them to lay flat. The screen to lay flat for some reason. It's always on a slant. Always on a slant. And it's kind of hard to do that. But this right here, these projectors are designed for this. Good thing I did order three of them. So I learned my lesson this time. Last time when I got the Christie, I got one Christie projector. Now when I try to get the same 1080p Christie projector, everybody wants a couple thousand dollars for it. And I got one for 230 I should have bought two of them. Then the five, the 505 upstairs, big boy projector, I bought one of them. Dumb mistake. Because now when I go back to get another one, dude sold out. He doesn't have any more. Everybody wants two or three grand for that projector. So this time around, when this fellow had three of those projectors, I bought them out. I bought all three of his projectors. Oh, heck yeah. I'm not going through that nonsense again. So one will be here today. I should have one coming today and one should be here tomorrow. Yeah. Here we go. Sorry about that. See right there? It's got multiple options. So I can put it under the table. If my table had a glass center in the middle, I can put it on the table and I can project up under the table and do a display right here. Right on top of the table. Is that cool or what? Look at this. This is freaking cool. You can do it with this name, but you have to have the projector to do it. So... I'm going to uh, do a um, I'm going to do a um, uh, underneath the table like you can actually project an image under the table. I'm going to use the scanners for those. So if I use the scanner for that, that means once I connect my scanner to that projector sitting on the table, I can project any form of 3D hologram image right to the table. Woohoo! We're well, using black technology, of course, because I don't want to project. I don't want to see anything at all. We want to cloak it using that technology, invisible black. So this is what I'm doing now. I am uh, adding in last of my screws, which before I got alive for that one, to finish this off. I can set this up right. And it's really easy when you get it. It looks really freaking overwhelming, and it does look extremely overwhelming, but it's not. It's really easy to put together. I put together a couple of things, and you're done. So they give you. Everything needed to do it, they give you the screws that you will need to actually mount these into your projector right there. Always remember, those are always smaller. And these are the actual screws to put it together. They always give you two just in case. If you lose one, right there, they always give you two. And these are the four. Always remember, the smaller ones are always ones that connect to the back of the projector. So when we stand it up right, say the table came out on a longer lip right here, right? So when you stand it up. Connecting it like this, and then those pieces at the bottom will screw into the table 
to make sure it stays up there and reinforces into the table. And then the projector sits here and projects down on top of the table like that. Now, if you're going to be doing it vice versa, or you're going to be putting it under the table, then what you do is you take your stand. I think it's heavy. It's very heavy. It has to be heavy to weigh the projector. Take your stand and you lock it in the table on top like this. So this is going to be actually, this is going to be actually under the table. This part right here is going to be under your table. So you're actually going to drill this thing into your table. I would not suggest you doing this to a piece of metal, I mean, a metal table. You're going to drill holes to it. But if you have a wooden table, which I should buy a wooden table, I should do my own customized table. So I get a wooden table. I can actually connect this on the table and have this lock. Like uh, let me see, I'm not going to show you guys because there's going to be no way for me to show you that way at all. Usually, when it comes to this kind of stuff, I'm going to have to build it. The only one I'm going to be to show you. It's like the same thing when I was trying to tell you about the arcade in the master bedroom, and I was trying to tell you that how I was going to build it. There was no way to explain to you everything that was racing through my head at that particular time when the blueprints were popping in my head on how to put together how I could explain it to you, but basically start building it to show you bit by bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on Amazon, buy myself a wooden table, and I'm going to build me a contraption where I can mount this thing on top and the bottom. And I'm going to get my saw downstairs, my power saw. I'm going to cut through the table. Um, and then after that, sand it down, make it nice and clean. And then a piece of black plexiglass, coat that with that black technology. And then I'm going to have to actually drill that into the either bottom or top of the table. I should do it at the top, at the top of the table, and put a nice little, tr nice little bezel trim around it. That's what I'll probably do with it. Because keep in mind, if it's thin plexiglass, you got to be careful about basically drilling through thin plexiglass. You could crack it. I like to use a diamond tip drill and heat it up. Heat it up on the end so it just punches right through nice and smoothly. You can usually crack that stuff pretty easy. Stuff to drop some screws in it. So how I'm going to do this table? I think I'm going to do this table in jet black. Ooh, wait a minute. Ideas already popping in my head right now. I'm going to do it in a kind of wood grain jet black. I'm going to put my screws in solid like gold screws. And I'm going to put in black plexiglass. Oh, that would be sick, wouldn't it? And put some black LED lights underneath the bottom of it, like a soft glow, like um, black lights, black LEDs. Yeah, that'd be sick. That'd be nice. That'd be a sick table, wouldn't it? I think I might change it into my dining room table now. I might turn that into my dining room table. That'd be kind of cool. I'm going to get rid of the table, to tell you the truth. All right, new project. See, that's what I'm talking about. That's the reason why I never get a chance to play in anything in none of my rooms, because every time I turn on, new project, new project, new project. And I still got the cardboard projection screens to build. What you're going to be next. Got to get around doing that. All right. So, orders, orders, orders. We got orders that just came in today. Let me put this contraption somewhere because I got to use this later on. You mounting my projector to that. Once it comes in, get my screws put up. We don't want to lose these. So, I got a few people did email me um, about two orders and about getting skipped. Do apologize about that. It happens you're being processed right now so i'm taking care of you right now your labels are all printed out so you're getting taken care of and then the new orders are getting ready right now uh keep in mind as i said before i got to do the demonstration again so i'm coming back on again and do the demonstration on the big boy kit because eventually when i was showing off the um giant screen upstairs i flashed a couple of movies that had some serious copyrights attached to them and i ended up um youtube saying look gotta delete the movie delete the video so I deleted it. I don't argue with them. I got up there. It's not supposed to be up there. Some movies will let you show. Some movies don't want. I don't get it. Why you'd be so freaking um, so upset about it because it's advertising. You know what I mean? If someone's advertising. If they're advertising my, my logo or my item for good and I do anything stupid like trying to slander or destroy it or whatever, that's a different story. But somebody's saying, hey, yeah, blah, 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 this and blah, blah, blah. They show my label in the background. I'm not going to get upset over that because as long as they're not basically promoting something dirty or nasty or slandering my product, I'm cool with that. You know what I mean? So if someone's doing a video and my screen just happens to pop up or they have a container back there, I'm not going to call like, oh, you got all your money, blah, 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 blah. That's free advertisement. What the heck would I be complaining about that for? That's less money I got to spend. So I don't understand what companies do that, or especially when people do reviews on video games, they're advertising your stuff for you. And come on, they got a massive channel and they're advertising games and stuff like that. Let them do what they do. They make their money, you make your money, your advertisement. Heck, I mean, that's how I ended up buying a lot of my Western movies. And Facebook, you know you go on Facebook, right? So, 
you get those in between areas where someone's showing off something, you click on it, and you happen to be on that page with all those people talking about them items. I ordered 13 movies right now on my PS4 of Western movies that I found because I was in these particular pages and somebody had posted this movie showing this funny clip. And I said, oh, what movie is that? And what, or, ordered the movie and bought it. I said, that's revenue that goes back to them because somebody had advertised that. Instead of hitting them with a copyright strike by saying, well, you can't show that off. You don't have a permission. That's free advertisement. I buy a lot of my stuff like that. A lot of these guys who do game reviews and stuff, I'll be in there watching their channel. Something about, what game is that? Really? Go look it up on the, on the system. Oh, it's right here. And go buy it. So why would you give them a copyright strike for it? That's stupid. They're advertising for you for free. That's that greed. That good old-fashioned greed. That's what it is. Let them make their money. Everybody makes their money. Everybody happy. All right. Um, we got the Black Friday, Cyber Monday sale. I'm going to extend that. I'm going to website update that right now. We're going to extend that to Saturday. Those of you missed out on the sale, you still got time to cash in. People have been, actually, the ones have been selling now, the packages have been selling the fastest are the multi-kits because they come with them free chasers. People have been buying them up. I have to bought so three or four of those uh, today. So um, we have that. And then we're going to bring out the big boy kit. These are the colossal. Colossal. One's going to be called colossal. Another one's going to be called the big boy. Now, the big boy comes with a gallon of the, of the uh, black screen paint or black silver depends on which one you want it comes with an eight by ten blackout cloth one of the problems people have when they're building giant screens like that is the surface some people can't paint on their walls if you can't paint on your walls you've got to construct this giant screen and once you get the wood and all that's the easy part you got to find a surface that's going to cover that thing so keep in mind any place like carl one of those places are going to charge you some money 50 60 70 80 sometimes 120 you do know that sometimes they charge you less if it's folded if it's folded you get it for less if it's on a roll you're going to pay more so i mean how much okay so you want a 100 inch screen 100 inch screen folded will probably cost you about 30 40 bucks on a roll probably cost you a hundred dollars there you go so we give it to you for free look at it that way you buy it for free from get it for free from us for the kid um, the kit for the uh, the big boy is going to be about 180. It's still going to stay in the same Black Friday sale we have at 180. It's going to add in that blackout cloth eight by uh, by ten. The colossal, on the other hand, comes in two boxes because that screen that comes with that monster is ten by twenty feet. That's a huge, huge screen. So it's about ten by twenty feet, and then you get the brick. The brick of lead lights, the ones I showed you. There's not one, not two sets. Actually, something like 60, 64 feet of lights are in there. Yeah, so you get the brick, and then you get uh, two gallons, and you get the 10 by 20. I haven't got a price for that yet, but it's probably going to be around, probably around the original price of the paint when we first launched it. It runs around 248 Okay, um, that sale is going to go on for probably about seven days. So I'm going to have to go and stock up on very, very large boxes, because that's how they're going to come in, in big boxes. You're going to receive two tracking numbers, one tracking number. And when I send you the tracking numbers, it's going to say shipping information, tracking number, lead lights, and screen. And the other one's going to say um, screen paint, so you know which ones are coming in. All right. With that being said, um, let me uh, get the rest of these orders done. These boxes taped up, get everybody ready to go. I got plenty of containers and more containers coming in. Um, when we do do the big boy kits, they will not come in quartz. They're going to come in get on one gallon of containers. I am not doing freaking eight quarts to equal up to two, I think two, eight quarts? Yeah, eight quarts to equal up to two gallons. That is too much work. Um, and get that taken care of for you guys. And then I'll be back in later on to do the promotion for the big boy kits because the other video had to be taken down because I showed Pacific Rim, which was cool on a 135 inch screen, but they didn't, they didn't, they didn't think of it that way. So ugh, whatever. All right. I'll be back on later on. Let me get all this done. And, um, Man, I can't wait for you to see this stuff when I get done the room. It's going to be freaking sweet. I can't wait for you to see it. But anyway, got to go in. God bless. Peace.